I buy a big can of soup, chicken soup or something, and I add a lot of veggies and other things and, and more rice or noodles to it to stretch it to make a big dinner. I've had to cut back on groceries, and we only go to town. You have to use a car. There's no mass transit, so you have to go by rig, and you plan your trips. You very few. Well, I've seen uh, many people affected by the economy, uh, this economic sort of disaster that we're going through. My husband just lost his job, so he has to take early retirement. You don't see a lot of garbage men coming around picking up the garbage and stuff. You know, you see even more gangbangers outside in the streets. Like, around my neighborhood, there used to be a lot of them, but now there's even more, just trying to get some money. See, the economy is affecting my neighborhood plenty of ways, because the crime rate is run up, you know what I'm saying? People robbing people now just for anything, just for bus cars now, you know what I'm saying? So, it's getting kind of crazy out here. Before, I used to like, go out on weekends. Now I have to take extra hours on weekends just to help my mom because my dad's out of work right now. Um, I live in Lincoln Park, so it really hasn't affected our neighborhood. Actually, they're building you know, houses, like million dollar houses around my neighborhood. I stay like on 43rd and King Drive. And I mean, it's different areas that affect it harder, but for mine, it's like it's a lot of foreclosures. And a lot of, a lot of like Section Eight builders are coming up there. It's hard to say because I really don't see it all too often in my neighborhood. I live in Lakeview, so I'm pretty close. Um, I've noticed a lot of restaurants that have the you know budget deals and stuff like that, so we can save money while we eat. But other than that, I can't really see it. We got new condos still popping up every five seconds. You know, people spending money at the bars all the time. So. <laughs> I live in the uh, southeast corner of Washington State by Lewiston, Idaho, and it's really affected everything in my life. Medical insurance, everything. It's really hurt. Uh, I have noticed probably a little bit more of maybe a, a middle to uh, like a middle class coming in from being downsized on their job. And that probably happened like a year ago, like just starting to notice someone's lost their job a year and a half ago and they've run out of friend, relative and money. And so now they're sort of hitting, and they weren't upper middle class in the first place, you know what I mean? And so they, um, their resources ran out now a little faster, and so they're starting to come into the shelter. The smaller families probably do uh, maybe still be able to fit into a little efficiency uh, where they might take a child or so into like a run one room uh, situation. The uh, a lot of our families leave the town, leave the city. They go into what is available subsidized housing: Elkhart, Indiana, Milwaukee, Elgin, Aurora, Galesburg. Uh, there are places that have subsidized housing a little bit more readily and unfortunately in my opinion our families are sort of forced out of the city and to go to places that they're not familiar with, more rural, less 
bus transportation, but if you have a large family or even a medium family and the job market is poorer, you are not able to make the thousand dollar rent. And so many people need that kind of help and that's what happens. It's just, it's terrible because I talked to people who have graduated from colleges, universities. Um, I know one man in particular graduated from the University of Chicago and is still looking for a job. It's really that bad. I mean, before the recession, it was like uh, building a lot of houses, condos everywhere, but right now, I think a lot of people got uh, foreclosed houses, so uh, they ain't building as much. But where I live, it's always been bad, so. I didn't even want to come to school anymore. I wanted to drop out and just work full time, get some money in my pocket and stuff. Well, I, that's one of the reasons I left school before when I dropped out, because I had to work in the morning to help my mom pay for stuff. When I didn't want no job, it was jobs all out there. Now, I'm in school trying to do the right thing. I want a job, but I can't get one. So now it's like, should I? Stop going to school to get a job, or should I stay in school so I could have a job in the long run? So really, don't I don't know. It's kind of crazy. It's all messed up. But the the thoughts crossed my mind, like um, to like stop going to school for now just to help like my mom out because it's hard, you know. Like she's the only one working right now, but um, I think it's better to stay educated so that I can get a better job. Well, I actually. I want to come to school. It's the only way I'm going to get out. I know I'm not even going anywhere if I go to school. So, I might as well get an education just so I can get by if the economy gets worse. Well, I mean, I, the reason I came to Truman was because I was going to work and not focusing on school. So, I did it before and I saw where it got me. So, I just used that as an example or a reason not to, not to do it again. Well, I did that before and, um, that resulted in me being here, so I'm just going to go to school and uh, however the state of the economy is, I'm not going to let it affect what my educational plans are. I'm trying to finish high, high, school, high school so I could uh, at least go to two year, four year, you know, college, get my, you know, graduate, make something out of my life, make some more money. The economy is badly damaging the lives of the families. The economy apparently became the main enemy. A sad story, people searching for open doors, many having fear of becoming very poor. The economy, a nightmare that is not fair. If the government took a quick glare, they see the family's many tears. Much stress when they look in the mirror, a strong pain that they cannot steer. The kids looking at mom and dad real weird because they face constantly in their hands. And they do not understand what their parents trying to hide, but problems clog their minds. That's the economy.